Here is Dayton fan number two. This is exactly the same as that one. Um, I just bought that. I bought the second one so I could get a baseline because I pitched the blades on that one, and I want to see how hot the motor runs on one that's at the stock pitch. So I'm gonna pull that out of the box real quick and uh, hope it's not damaged. The box is a little damaged. We'll run it for a while and see exactly how hot the motor gets. This one came with an instruction manual, the other one did not. I don't think it did anyway. Alright, it doesn't appear to be damaged, but we'll uh, pull the plastic off and get this box out of here and uh, see exactly what's going on with this one. get my pliers so I can cut those things off. And we got the uh, nice tethered adjustment knobs just like the other one has. Oops. Definitely gonna keep that. Alright, I'm gonna get this one out of the way and we'll run the new one. This is uh, rated at 1.3 amps, just like the other one. So let's see what it's doing. All right, I just want to inspect it a little bit more for damage first. I don't see anything obvious. Adjusters, so it doesn't tilt backwards when it's running. Right. Here we go, let's start it up on high.
nicely. This is going to be a good baseline reading. Seems like the spin down time is pretty good. It's pretty well balanced so I'm happy about that. Um, did not get any damage in shipping so I'll be uh, running both of these on high and I'll compare the temperature of that motor to the temperature of that motor and we'll see what happens. This one actually has a little bit of a startup sound. And now here's the one that I pitched the blades on. We'll go straight up to high. Okay, so you can see this one is definitely drawing more amps, um, but I'm going to let this one run over here for a while and uh, put that one in a different location and let it run at the same speed. So we'll see what happens here. So both fans have been running for a couple hours on high. Um, that one over there, I just felt it. <clears throat> I just felt the motor on it. And then there's this one. Uh, this one is a little, just a slight bit cooler than the other one. Let's go back over to the other one right now. And feel it. Yeah, this one is a... Uh, a bit warmer you can definitely it's a it's a noticeable difference um, and that's obviously because there's a m much more of a load on this motor than there is on the other one because the blades are steeper pitched on this one now so um, I mean it <coughs> the stator uh, the area where the stator is is pretty warm um, walk back over to this one they, they do get a little bit warmer when you turn them off just because there's no air flowing over them. Um, this one right here is definitely a little bit cooler. Um, now, I don't know if this would be... There, there would be this much of a difference if I was running both of them on low. I'm sure this one would run quite a bit cooler on low. And the reason I pitch the blades more you know, was to get this thing to be quieter so I could use it in a bedroom. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and obviously on low. It runs at a much more acceptable RPM than the other one does. I'll turn this one on low real quick. As you can hear, it's definitely louder on low speed. And yes, the motor is running cooler on this one. 
I'll have to do this test again with an infrared thermometer because I don't have mine with me right now. But just you know, based off based off feeling it, um, you, you can definitely tell this one's running cooler than uh, the other one, which has the steeper pitch blades. I don't think this is going to hurt the motor at all. Um, I had this thing running on. I had this thing running on low and the, half the night last night, and then I got up around I don't know one in the morning and turned it on uh, high, and then left it like that for a while. Um, and obviously the thermal overload isn't going to trip. Uh, it would have if it was going to. Um, so I think this motor will be fine, but I guess we'll see as I use it more often. Um, I should do a test and see how hot that motor gets on that Patton U2-0018 that I pitched the blades on. But I think, <clears throat> I think it'll be okay. At least I hope so. So, yeah. Yeah, there is a, a noticeable difference. But again, I think if the other one was overheating, the thermal fuse would have tripped. So, uh, I think with this one, actually... I'm going to attempt to put a capacitor in series with the low winding to quiet it down and see how that works compared to the other one which is just pitched more. Um, so stay tuned for that because that will be a video someday as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it is definitely running cooler. One thing I should note is that, you know, just a few matter of a few minutes this uh, motor is already feeling cooler. So it doesn't take long to cool down.